Hello everybody, it's Diff the Ender here again today, and I want to give you a couple quick analysis, really quick analysis, on the damage reduction masteries in Season 3. So, let's see if we can get this going. Yeah, so I want to talk about how strong damage reduction is. So that's the block masteries and the unyielding mastery. Now firstly, where are they located? They're in the defense tree, and they require 13 points to get in, and that's uh, for champion damage reduction, and that's for basic attack reduction. Block and unyielding together give you 5 damage reduction. So, how does it work? Any basic attack damage you take is reduced by 5. That's with the combination of these two masteries. Now let's take a look at how strong this actually is. So, firstly, let's take a look at the damage formula. The damage formula is as such. Any incoming damage, so let's say an AD carry has 200 attack damage, hits you, it goes through this formula. So it becomes 200 here, replace that by 200, and insert your armor here. So if your armor is 100, this becomes 100 over 200, which is equal to 0 0.5, times the 200 of the AD carry, so they only actually hit you for 100. And that's the damage formula. Now, with the damage reduction from these masteries, obviously the actual damage is reduced by a further 5 than what it would actually be. So obviously, it's better, it's the equivalent of having more armor. So we can calculate how strong these masteries are by rearranging this formula to figure out how much effective armor you gain because of the damage reduction. So I've gone ahead and done that. To do that though, firstly we need to know how much armor you actually have. So these masteries are mainly beneficial in lane and trading. So let's look at how much you start off at level 1. So at level 1, you will usually have a base armor of around 20. Some champions will have a little bit more, some champions will have a little bit less. But in most cases, especially in top lane, they'll reside around 20. And you'll be taking armor seals most of the time, and that gives you an extra 13. And masteries now give you 5 flat armor. However, we can round that up to 6 because you might take some bonus armor from further down a defensive tree. Or you might have some extra sources, let's say, uh, abilities. Who knows? And that gives you an around a 39 armor value at level 1. So that's how much armor you have at level 1. Let's take a look at 39 armor. How much more effective armor, hidden armor, you gain because of these damage reduction masteries. So, scary graph incoming, just warning you. Oh, there you go. So how this works is... It shows you how much effective armor you increase you have due to the masteries at these damage values. So if someone is hitting you for 50 and you're reducing the damage by 5, after all the calculations that we take account, your armor, effective armor is increased by around, what's that, looks like a 20. Now, um, it's incredibly hard to read on screen, so I've gone ahead and pulled out a few milestones. So at 55 damage, which would be one of the lowest level 1 damages. I think an Olaf with no AD runes or any or anything at all starts off with 55 damage. If he hits you and you reduce the damage by 5, you have an effective increase in armor of 20. So you effectively take damage as if you only had 59 armor instead of 39. So that's 20 hidden armor there for every basic attack that, that Olaf lands on you. Or with the Doran shield, which increases your damage reduction by a further 6, so any increased, any basic attacks from the enemy champion is reduced by another 6, then in that case you have an effective increased armor of 53. At 70 it's 15, or with a Doran shield it's 39. At 90 it's around 12, or if you have a Doran shield it's around 28. So as you can see, that's extremely, extremely strong con compared to like, let's say, the flat armor increase. The flat armor increase gives you 5 flat armor. Just these damage reduction masteries alone give you an effective increase of around 20 with basic attacks. Now let's take a look at, at other values. Let's say further on in the game, at around 100 armor, how much effective armor are you gaining out of these masteries? So once again, the graph is quite hard to read. Here are a few milestones. So if someone is hit, trying to hit you for 100 basic damage, and 100 with a basic attack, and you have 100 armor, with these damage reduction masteries, you gain around 22, or at around 200, you only gain about 10 armor. Once again, still extremely strong. It's only when it dips below 5 that it becomes quite ineffective. So once again, very, very effective. Now what about super late game? Let's say you're a Malphite or you're just some crazy strong bruiser who's decided to stack on 200 armor. What happens then? So 
at this point, if someone's dealing 100 damage to you, then your effective armor increase is actually quite high, and you get around 52 armor, uh, 52 increased hidden armor. Or if you had a Doran Shield, this is a single Doran Shield on top of the two damage reduction masteries. You have an effective increase of around 148 uh, armor just for that one basic attack. So if someone's trying to hit you for 100 when you have 200 armor, and you have a Doran Shield as well, you take damage as if you had 350-ish armor, which is quite strong. And if someone's critting you, let's say 465 damage, it still gives you a bonus about 10 armor. So as you can see, all these armor figures, all this hidden armor that you gain from damage redu reduction is in double digits, double digits in most realistic situations, making it quite strong. However, keep in mind that this is only for basic attacks and not for physical damage from abilities or magic damage or any other sort. So keep that in mind, but for basic attacks, it's extremely strong. Now, conclusion, it's extremely strong. Use it and abuse it. Personally, I've had some great success speaking 13 into defense just to get that block mastery. I go 0, 13, 7 with my supports and 14, 16 with my top lane. And that way I always get to take the block mastery and I speak my other points around that. So that's the damage reduction masteries and that's how strong they are. Make your own choices. I hope you enjoy Season 3. This is Diff the Ender. Hopefully it helped. Thank you. I'm signing out. Cheers. Bye.